Finally made it down to Tones. Uh, we're in uh, Eastbourne, isn't it? Mate? Yeah, East Sussex on the coast. Lovely. And a uh, little bit dodgy on the on the weather at the minute, but it's clear enough a small bit, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Little so, bit um, so we're here and we're, we're going to catch up and uh, just get a few of your thoughts on on uh, my project. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. And, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so... Um, How's tricks? You all good? Yeah, great. I've been very, very busy, since, especially since I took early retirement. Um, been doing a lot of coaching, bit, quite a bit of guiding. Um, had a nice little uh, trip out for myself uh, with um, a couple of good friends, Chris Turnbull, you might have heard of, I angling know. artist. Yeah. And his brother Malcolm was over from uh, Germany. Whenever they come over, they see their mum. Um, we always try and get in a couple of nice. trips together. So, uh, yeah, we found some very big roach the other day, which I uh, did notice. I'm yeah, gonna say I had a, I had an equal PB three three, uh, two nice one, fish. and one fifteen. Several other good ones. It was a great day out with two good mates. You know, yeah, that's what it's all about. Yeah, it? it's and, lovely. And um, yeah, so you're you're aware of the project we're doing. It's a, yeah. it's a really worth video well. battle. And yeah. uh, what do you think of it? And we've we've kind of gone around asking a lot of people just to. Get their thoughts on it because it's new. Yeah, you know, it's a great idea, especially with um, the kids. You know, they love technology and everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've just done a week's um, coaching with the local school, and uh, I've seen what they like. They're aware of the project as well. Yeah. Um, and we one of the days we had in the classroom to actually do um, a, a magazine. Right. So and they created was, their own magazine. Yeah, it was That's fantastic. A great idea. I was I was interviewed. <laughs> I, I can't say about one little bit there, but something to do with spelling mistakes and countryside. <laughs> I can't go into any more there. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's probably best not to. My um, my vocabulary went up the first time we met, but yeah. I can't say most of the stuff I learned either. <laughs> but uh, yeah, how long have you been fishing? Um, since just... I could walk. Yeah. Yeah. I literally. Yeah. Because my father was a, a good um, angler locally, you know, he'd yeah. done well. Uh, this, this area is not really renowned for big fish, but uh, he used to catch big fish for the area. Mm. And, um, you know, he just instilled in me, uh, you know, like the countryside and, yeah. um, it, you know, looking... looking so, you, you know, it's, 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 in, it's great to see that you're still as in oh. love with it, if oh, not yeah. more probably. Yeah. And I still get so excited, I can't sleep the night before. I don't need an alarm clock. I never have an alarm clock. I'm, I'm never late if I'm going fishing. You know, I'm still like a kid. I did you, you, you were saying you were doing a bit of uh, coaching as well. Yeah, I've been doing quite a bit lately. Yeah. How are you finding that? Uh, I really enjoy it. Very, what, very, what, very what rewarding. Pushed, what, what got you going that direction? It's just, um, I want, I'm trying to put something back into angling. Right. You know, it's, been, it's been a real big thing in my life. And um, you know, I want to encourage the next generation. There doesn't mm. seem to be many coming into the sport, and mm. um, if I can give something back, it's just I want to leave some sort of legacy. If I've helped several people, inspire people yeah, to, to yeah. the water. Yeah. If you were to think about it and to pick out one moment, uh, there's there's been certain catches um, that I've had that have been really yeah, memorable. Um, one was the uh, Tench Fisher's 50th anniversary fishing. Uh, that we had, and uh, it was the first time I'd ever fished it before. Long story short, I, I ended up with um, carp to thirty pound twelve, fully scaled mirrors. I had a 20, twenty nine twelve, um, a twenty eight and a half, and a nineteen. Beautiful looking carp. Uh, I had twenty one tench to eleven two, and and I had uh, bream of nine and a half and eleven six, which was quite a memorable catch. But I've I've had. I've been really lucky to have had a lot of memorable catches, you know. Yeah. Uh, twice I've had uh, two double figure tench in the same session. You know, one was in a catch of 76 tench. Yeah. Yeah, um, I've been very lucky. You can remember a lot of your fishing, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's some I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, People tell me. Any funny stories of uh, on anyone else's behalf? <laughs> I uh, remember like, fishing with Stuart Gillam. Uh, I went and did the chip run, and um, I come back and he's saying, "Oh, your mate, your rods have been going 
you know, dim light, going mad. And I thought, oh, this has got to be a wind. And I started winding the first one. I thought, hello, this is this something actually on this. And, and it was um, a bone yard. Do you remember the dog biscuits? <laughs> yeah. It was shaped in a bone. And what it was doing, it was going like that through the water. And I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> on the other one, there was a peach stone. And the third one, there was a Wrigley Spearmint. Yeah. Yeah. I hate him. I, feel, I, put, I put sweet corn in his boots. Get my own back on it. <laughs> Fishing practical jokes. Yeah. Oh, it's if, just loads. If anyone watches this, if you've done anything similar, put it in the comments below. Oh, I've, I've done all sorts. Uh, I swapped over one of my mates, Chris T uh, Taylor. Um, he decided it was funny to hide my, uh, one of my shoes. So uh, when he was packing up, he left his rods against the car. So I swapped his spools over. And he didn't find out until his next session. He was putting his rods together. Couldn't work it out. <laughs> and it was pouring down with rain as well. And all, yeah. He went home with all my rubbish under his, in his, under his seats and uh, uh, maggots in different places. Have you got a style of fishing that you that you really like? like trotting? I mean, any, any style that you really love, enjoy love trotting. doing? Yeah, I love trotting. Um, it's, a, it's a real skill. What kind of setup would you go for with something like that? It depends on the water, really. Right. Because um, if you've got really strong waters like Hampshire Haven that really tank through, then you're you know, talking about bigger floats. With and what will you be using, weight. like a closed face reel or a... Uh, sometimes or a centre pin as well. I love the yeah. centre pin. It's beautiful. I'm yet to use a centre pin. Oh, I've used yeah, the closed face and I really yeah. enjoyed that, but I'd say a centre pin yeah. must be... Yeah, Do they nice. tangle much or... Uh, they're quite difficult to get used to or...? In the beginning they are. Right. Yeah, you can overrun... Yeah, um, but, casting um, and whatnot. Yeah, there's special ways of casting as well. There's, you know, there's a Wallace cast. They call it. it takes a bit of uh, getting used to, but um, yeah, it's a it's a lovely way of fishing. And things like you you live in Eastbourne, so yeah. you're close to the sea. You're starting to get a bit of sea fishing. Yeah, I really love it. I'm yeah. loving it. Sea and um, boat fishing, going out in the boat. And have you done any other types of fishing, like uh, fly fishing or any of that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you enjoy it? Um, yeah, I loved it. My PB was um, a five pound blue bottle. It's a uh, terrific fish. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so, as you know, this morning on my way down here, I put up on Facebook um, a little thing for everyone yeah. to leave a... a <laughs> A yeah. question for you, and I, I said I would ask. Easy for, on me, weren't they? I think. They were, they were, yeah. they were. The, yeah. To be fair, I was expecting a lot worse, but oh, look. Anyway, sorry. we got uh, we got a few. We got a few. So, uh, Carl Marchant. Oh, Carl, yeah. Top man is Tony. Ask him what he thinks of Lola as a junior angler. Absolutely brilliant. Who's Lola? Lola is his daughter. Right. And she's an absolute diamond. She's a really, really good. Little angler as well. Right. She puts me to the right, and she dealt fish me, um, especially lure Round, fish. How old is she? I think she's about um, eight or nine, I think now. Uh, Good on you, Lolo. If this guy's um, giving you props, no, then you must be doing lovely. something right. I've, I've met her a couple of times as well, and so, she's lovely. Yeah, and a credit and we'll get a video a in. To, let us, let's see her. I, get, I think there is stuff, um, and she's uh, yeah, get very get, photogenic put, as well. Put, put in a video, yeah. Lola. Same again from Cara. How did you come up with the T-Rig? Um, it's uh, basically looking at the way tench and well fish in general feed. Um, and I've been mucking about with artificial baits and um, setting them up. I was looking at um, looking for an anti-eject thing and I was looking the way the, um, the mechanics of the T-Rig works, especially with a hinge. With it tea like that, they suck it, suck it in, hmm. like everything. They suck everything in to taste it and then blow it out. When they go to in blow an it instant, out, isn't it? It's yeah, pretty, really yeah, quick. it's really quick. But it, it tips over, so it nails them in the bottom lip every time, and and it behaves just like the free offerings. Right. You know, I've, I've mucked about where. So when it's when they're mincing around, they're the the it just lift around and, and waft doesn't around. look yeah. suspicious yeah. to them. Though. Yeah, but it's just the way the me mechanics of it, it, it right. flicks. It flicks back and uh, it catches an awful lot of fish. I bet. It really does, yeah. It's got a good reputation. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there you go. Uh, the <laughs> next one is from uh, my homie, 
fellow Irishman. Oh yeah. Simon Gibson, oh. and he wants to know, ask Tone if he's okay after the buck fast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm only joking, he's, he hasn't got that. <laughs> he said, ask Tone. It's the evil stuff that is. If he had a, a, if he had to have fish for, if he had to fish for one fish, what would it be? The oh. rest of your life job, I suppose. It's that's really hard because there's so many species that I really, you know, I really enjoy. But if I was pinned down to having one, it'd probably be um, chub. So it is. Yeah, so it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it's, it's, it's uh, nice. You can they feed in any condition. Usually, um, you can just go along, walk for miles with one rod, bucket of mash, or so, or you can go along, uh, you know, finding your own bait. Worms on the uh, on the side river or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's you <laughs> answering them already. <laughs> cheating. Uh -huh. um, ask. <laughs> this is from Dan. <laughs> You're gonna have to is prove it. From it. Dan, so it is. <laughs> <laughs> can he do a better Irish accent than me? <laughs> to be sure, I can. Yeah. <laughs> Let's well, first. You definitely got a better one than me. <laughs> um, Hank Dasco. He wants to know where you catch these live baits. Uh, it's top secret that is. <laughs> live baits, I'll give him bloody live baits. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Lewis? I'd like to ask Ant how he'd hook one of those. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Ant. In your face. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lewis wants to know what is the biggest fish you've had? It's big, um, that's, that's another one. I've had big fish of uh, most species. So uh, I wouldn't know. Um, I mean, I've had chub of eight pound, yeah, a yeah. carp over 30 pound, pike 27 four, tench 11 pound 10. You know, I've, um, it's a job to say, you know, which how, one do you, you think out? is, yeah. how, how do you define big? You know, well, I mean, a tench of that size has got to be a, used to, yeah, it's yeah. right, I'll have a go. Just thinking it. outside the box, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm um, a firm believer you, in that. Yeah, well, see, in the chats that we've had, I can see that because mm. we've, you know, we've, we've, we've definitely opened my eyes up to a lot yeah. of stuff and uh, especially things like and this is something I you know you're you're doing a lot of stuff with uh, add, additives and bits and pieces with yeah. with, yeah, um, with fish dynamics with fish yeah. dynamics yeah. and it's something um, I, I, well one one of the big reasons that I never really got involved with it was because I didn't really at back home I never really did internet shopping so mm. I didn't have a shop that really sold yeah you know I, I'd like to support tackle shops so yeah. I, I was, I'm that and I'm stupid mm. on the internet anyway so <laughs> Same as um, that. Yeah. but I, I never really experimented with some of those things and speaking mm. you t to you today it's definitely yeah. given me a bit of confidence to yeah. give them a shot yeah so yeah it's, it's really interesting and the you were saying with some of the pike captures last year yeah that was you think it was giving you a bit of a confidence boost oh, definitely I mean um, I had a fantastic pike uh, winter I had um, like 31 over 16 with nine nine um, over 20, and uh, that was experimenting. With that you know, some people said you know, you know you might have caught that without them, but I, I said it doesn't put them off. It hasn't put them off. Yeah, you know, it's a pretty it valid me, point, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's given me confidence, and I think sometimes it's just being a bit different than to everyone else. You know, I'm a, a big supporter of the Angling Trust as well. Yeah, just been made an ambassador from, and you know, I'm getting involved with the trust. Uh, they're the only voice that uh, that we've got in angling. I'm, I'm a firm believer. Wish more people, if everyone joined, then you know that we could do. They could do a yeah. lot more. Get yeah. a lot more funding for these things, like the, the projects that they do. You know, getting not like what you're doing. I, okay, if you if you don't if you are in that part of your life where you are going to work on a regular basis and you mm. can't go out and be actively yeah. helping on the banks with kids and all mm. this kind of carry on, yeah. but you still want to have a part to play them. Yeah. Definitely joining the trust helps. Mm. That's what you is. and me are both the same, aren't we? Yeah, we both yeah. do our yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. So there you have it, folks. Um, that was a great interview, Tone. Thank you so much. No problem, mate. Um, pleasure. As a part of uh, Tone's involvement with Fish Dynamics, they've been good enough to give us a little goodie bag for, um, which you guys can win. And uh, it's pretty simple how to win it. It's share this interview with as many people as you can and we're gonna pick one out at random to win the, the goodie bag. Um, thanks very much to Fish Dynamics for that. And uh, like I said, thanks so much, Tony. It was no really problem. good to catch up with you. Yeah, and um, you, yeah, have you anything you'd like to say to any of the competitors? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it first. Get on with it. Get, get out there, get filming, enjoy. Yeah.
Good man. Thanks very much. No though. problem, mate. Appreciate it.